Decision-making is a dynamic interactive process that has been studied extensively with functional magnetic resonance imaging, or fMRI. Neuroimaging evidence indicates that the anterior cingulate and the lateral prefrontal cortices are essential nodes in that neural network. However, because of its limited temporal resolution, fMRI cannot accurately reflect the timing and nature of their interplay in real time. The present study uses an anatomically constrained magnetoencephalography, or MEG, method, which combines distributed source modeling of the MEG signal with structural MRI forming brain movies. It allows us to examine how acute alcohol intoxication affects decision-making. Demonstrating this procedure will be Joe Happer and Burke Rosen, doctoral students, and Laura Wagner, a research associate. Begin by escorting the participant into the MEG lab to run a test scan. Put them in the scanner and check the channels for possible magnetization. Then measure their weight and have them blow into an electronic breathalyzer. To assess dynamic changes in the subjective effects of alcohol, inform the subject that they will rate their momentary feelings and states on a standardized scale prior to drinking and on two additional occasions during the experiment, during the ascending and descending limb of the breath alcohol concentration curve. Then, administer a practice run of the Stroop task on a laptop with stimulus presentation software